Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video. Got a great deal as a part of Amazon's Prime Day going on right now that I want to let you guys know about. And we've got a Netflix for indie games. I'll talk about that in a little bit. As a part of Amazon Prime Day, they've got a pretty good deal on a pre-built computer, which like I've said in previous videos, not the biggest fan of them, but right now with everything going on with GPU prices, they are one of the better options if you can find a good price on them. And for Prime Day, they've got a pretty good deal. They've got a CyberPower PC with an Intel Core i5 7400, that's clocked at 3.0 gigahertz, an AMD RX 484 gigabyte, 8GB of DDR4 RAM, a 1TB hard drive, as well as a Wi-Fi USB adapter, which is kind of nice. All of that for $640, so that's a pretty good deal. Remember that this also comes with a copy of Windows, so if you factor that in, you end up getting the PC for like $570, $560, which is a really good deal for an RX 480, an Intel Core i5 7400, and right now, given the state of GPU prices, this is one of the better deals that you you're gonna find. This rivals that Best Buy computer I talked about a few weeks ago. I believe this is a little bit cheaper. I think that Best Buy computer was around the $700 mark. For $640, this is a good deal. Remember though, you do have to be an Amazon Prime member. However, you can sign up for a free trial, pick this up, and then be on your way. And it is exclusive for Amazon Prime Day, so it is ending in just under 14 hours as of the recording of this video, as you guys are watching, probably a little bit less. So make sure to jump on this ASAP if you are interested. A really good deal. And remember, Remember that these pre-built computers also come with a keyboard and mouse, and that's another nice inclusion that'll save you a little bit of money for those of you on a tight budget. But yeah, $640 is a pretty good deal. Just remember on Amazon, you do usually have to pay tax. That's kind of a bummer. But you end up getting free shipping with your Prime trial, so that is a nice bonus. Next thing I want to talk about is an all-you-can-play indie game service coming for $10 a month, so a Netflix-style service. And I think on paper, this is a really good idea. It's called Jump, and it lets you play titles on-demand Netflix style. Very much similar to what Microsoft's been doing with Xbox Game Pass, but that includes a lot of mainstream console titles. I believe like Gears of War is on there, Halo 5 is on there. Jump, however, is just indie games. Right now, it's in beta and there's 60 plus games in its initial catalog. And the beta period for Jump is running from now till July 24th with a limited game selection. But once the full service launches this summer, anyone can sign up for a 14-day free trial. So at the very least, you can check out the service for free. And since it it is a lot of indie games, even if you don't have the highest end PC, a lot of these games you'll be able to run no problem on like a laptop. This is a very interesting idea because for a lot of indie developers, Jump might be a better idea than releasing your game on Steam. Jump would pay the developer or publisher a set amount of money to acquire the game for their service, and that's all there is to it. You don't have to worry about game sales or anything like that. Now, Jump is only going to be able to afford these games if the service takes off, so who knows if it will. But like I said, on paper this is a really good idea because Steam is releasing so many games every day, every week, every month, and a lot of those games just completely get lost in the shuffle. Some of those games probably sell like a hundred copies and are never heard from again. So to put those games on Jump and get a guaranteed amount of money, even though you're sacrificing the long-term potential of a game blowing up on Steam, it is a lot more certainty on how much money you're going to make and how much money an indie developer is going to get for their work. Now, Jump is a little interesting. It uses a web-based technology that launches games from the platform's client, allowing them to run locally without fully installing by loading only the assets it needs on the fly. So there's obviously a lot of comparisons to Netflix. You don't have to download every game locally. That'll be interesting to see how that goes. And the idea is that Jump will add 10 to 12 games every month and it won't be an insane amount of games so nothing gets lost in the shuffle because usually you do spend more time with a game than a show. So it makes sense. I just don't know how many people are gonna be for a service like this. Like I said, on paper, it seems like a really good idea with all the games getting lost in the shuffle on Steam, but I think people would rather just take that $10 you're paying for this service and spend it towards a game that they know they want to play on Steam, and usually with games on Steam, people go for the top 2% of games, but they also spend the majority of their time on those top 2% of games, with people spending, you know, upwards of a thousand hours in some games, so I just think Jump attracts a very niche audience. I think a lot of people will sign up for the 14-day free trial, but how far it goes beyond that that remains to be seen. That's gonna wrap up this video, guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Remember to check out that PC on Amazon for Prime Day. You do have to be a Prime subscriber, but I'll leave a link down below in the description box where you can sign up and pick up the PC. And if you sign up for Prime using my link, I will get a little bit of the back end, so that helps a lot. And let me know what your thoughts on Jump are. Is it a service that you're interested in, or are you like, man, there's already a lot of games on Steam. I have a lot of games. I don't need to add a lot more. Because with Microsoft's Game Pass, you're adding a lot of games to your 
their library, but how many of those games are you actually gonna sit down and spend time playing? I don't know. That's gonna vary from person to person, but like I said, leave your thoughts down below in the comments section, and if you have a request for a future video, you can put that in the comments as well. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.